Good afternoon from Amsterdam. Today, I'm flying a KLM 777-300ER to Atlanta. To make your decision as to what airline to fly on your next European adventure, I'm going to give you three reasons to choose KLM over the competition. Number one, Amsterdam Airport. If you're flying KLM to North and South America from any European city, chances are that you'll most definitely be transferring flights through KLM's primary hub of Schiphol Airport. Transferring through Schiphol Airport is fast and efficient. I'm able to make it from my arriving flight at the A-Gates in the Schengen area, through the EU border, and across this mega airport to the F-Gates in just under 30 minutes. Pretty good for one of Europe's biggest airports. For a major international airport, Schiphol is impressive. Not only is there comfortable seating pretty much everywhere in the terminal, but there are also working power outlets next to virtually every seating area. Worried about your flight? Large screens like this tell you all the information you need to know about your flight, including delays and the layout of the plane that you will fly. See this plane? This is Papa Hotel Bravo Victor Alpha. This 16-year-old 777-300ER will be taking me across the pond to Atlanta. Reason number two to fly on KLM. Modern cabin, modern seats. Each seat features a large and responsive IFE screen with an expansive selection of movies, TV shows, and other content to choose from. KLM provides the better type of earbuds that are average as far as economy class earbuds go. However, they do beat their European competitors. Need to get some work done? KLM provides a USB port and shared power outlet at each economy class seat. Should Joey in the seat in front of you decide that he wants to recline and get some shut eye, you can always adjust this IFE screen. As for the seat back, it's very well padded and features a headrest adjustable based on height. The legroom is pretty good, but only if you don't place your large backpack underneath the seat. If you decide to place any larger item underneath the seat in front of you, your legroom will be significantly reduced. But this isn't too bad, because you can still stretch out in certain spots at the window seat. The rest of the seat pack has the usual amenities of a tray table, seat back pocket, and coat hanger hook a great fluffy blanket and pillow are also provided on long haul flights such as mine to Atlanta. Check out this cool safety video. Here's our takeoff from runway 36 center at Amsterdam Schiphol. Let's take a look at the in-flight moving map. Okay, maybe not. Hey guys, future me here. So I had to call one of the flight attendants to reset my IFE screen because the moving map was, for some reason, breaking the screen. And uh, even after the flight attendant did that, uh, my moving map just wasn't working, despite it working on literally every single other screen uh, in, in the economy class cabin. So um, yeah, just don't sit at C36K if you want to have a moving map. Thanks for explaining, future me. Anyways, after takeoff, the wonderful, cheery flight attendants came around to start the in-flight service with a sanitary wipe and a bottle of water, both of which are much appreciated gestures on a long flight like this. KLM features Wi-Fi on board most of its wide-body planes. 
The airline offers free messaging through MMS or apps such as Messenger or WhatsApp. The price for internet access for my entire flight was 18 euros, which is average compared to other carriers. However, in our modern day world, I have to admit that I do enjoy being not connected to the internet and just being in the moment when flying on planes. Reason number three for flying KLM, healthy, filling food. KLM is kind of like your loving, doting grandmother. She prepares the tastiest, healthiest food she can for you while still making sure to spoil you with some delicious desserts. The main meal portions on KLM may not be as large as on other airlines such as United, but wow, does the airline give out healthy meals. Dinner was comprised of tomato gnocchi pasta with an assorted salad, cheese, and a hot bread roll. As for the beverage service, I went for tomato juice. An hour after dinner, the flight attendants came around with some dessert, comprising of this apple cake, similar to German Apfelkuchen. Soon after, a hot or cold drink of your choice was served. Since I still had another flight to film after this one, I went for some coffee. If you're still hungry after all that tasty food, KLM provides a small snack bar in the flight attendant galleys where you can pick up a bag of crackers or pretzels. Beverages are also free at any time during the flight, but you have to ask a flight attendant to order one. Just four hours after dinner, and with an hour and 30 minutes left to go, the pre-landing snack was served rather early. It consisted of this cheesy focaccia bread, which was rather greasy for my liking. Served with it was a hot or cold drink. I went for, of course, tomato juice. Fun fact, the reason why I always order tomato juice on flights is because it tastes better in the sky. Due to the altitude, tomato juice tastes sweeter in the air because of your numbed taste buds. I have to admit, KLM's hard product on its 777s is simply great. The food portions, while underwhelming, were still a lot tastier than on other airlines. While airlines such as Swiss do provide more food and beverages on board their flights, those airlines' hard products are becoming rather dated, so props to KLM. Honestly, there's nothing on this flight that I can complain about. Everything simply went well. If given the chance, I would 100% choose to fly KLM again. This flight garners a 10 out of 10. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more content like this, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'm always open to suggestions on how to improve my videos. Anyway, until next time, see ya.